Good morning. My name is Nick Rader. I'm an account manager in CSM with InSpace. And today we're going to be going over getting started with InSpace. So I'm going to walk you through signing in and as a user, booking desks and conference rooms. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is you'll receive uh, an email from somebody within your organization, probably the administrator of InSpace, which you'll be able to click on. It's going to bring you to this sign in link. So you'll sign in with your corporate uh, email. And what it'll do is send you an authorization code either to your email or to your cell phone. So I will wait here for just a moment till I get my code, which I have now. And here we are in the InSpace profile. So here on the left, you'll have your floor plan. You'll be able to search, take a look at your bookings, people, calendar view. Uh, this is a demo environment, so some of the information in, in here is filled in. However, when you do come into your profile, you'll see your full floor plan. So if you wanted to book a conference room, it's just as simple as clicking on the conference room. You'll click book, put in the start time, say it's 10 a.m. And we'll want this meeting to go till 11 a.m. You're the organizer. You can add certain people. Uh, the people will be in a drop down here. So anybody that you want to add, you'll have full access to. And then you can also include a link for anybody who's going to be attending uh, in hybrid or virtual or anything like that. Hit submit. And now the room has been booked. When it comes to booking a desk, same exact thing. You click on the actual desk that you want to work on. Hit book. Click the start time, end time. Usually it will be for the full day. Um, however, if this is a hot desking situation and you only want to book it for a couple hours, you'll have that functionality as well. Uh, you can also select an app check-in, which means you can book it over your computer when you're at home. And then when you get to the physical space, you can just hover your phone right over the device. And then at that point, you'll be fully checked into the desk. So hit submit. And now you're going to be working at that desk. Now, in this demo environment, if I had my profile picture, my beautiful face, uh, it would show up on this map. So if somebody needed to find me, it'd be as simple as looking at the map and seeing what desk I'm located at instead of having to click on it. So those are going to be your basics. That's how to book a desk and a room within InSpace. You also have the people tab here, which is going to show you all of the users within the organization. So it'll show you the full list here of users. It will tell you what their status is. So whether they're working from home, whether they're in the office, um, this could say on vacation, it could say out of the office. You're also gonna have your departments, your teams, and then it will also show you assigned desks. Now, if you go over here to your calendar view, this is just a different view of the users within the office, right? So it's gonna give you an entire week view. So if I need to book a meeting with Sharon, right now I can see that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, she's going to be working from home. Now, again, this is dummy data, so this will obviously be different. One of these days, she'll probably, you know, would probably be in the office or working in a hybrid function. So those are going to be the most important tabs for you as a user, your floor plan, the people, calendar view, and my bookings. Now, when you book something, it's going to show up right here in my bookings. So all of that information will be kept. If you have any additional questions on how to use the functionality within InSpace, you can reach out to your admin internally, or you can reach out directly to your account manager or CSM. Thanks so much for your time.